we're about to fly on an Airbus A380, the biggest commercial plane in the world. Imagine trying to park a skyscraper-sized boomerang in a standard width driveway. That, in essence, was Airbus's nightmare when they set out to build the A380. Craft wings big enough to lift 1.2 million pounds, yet narrow enough to squeeze into the 80-metre parking stall every major airport enforced. Break the rule and the jet would be homeless. Obey it and on paper, the aeroplane would never get off the ground. So how did Airbus outsmart both the laws of aerodynamics and the laws of real estate? That's the story we're opening today. Over the next 10 marvels and roughly 12 minutes, I'll show you why the A380's wings remain the cleverest slabs of aluminium and carbon fibre ever bolted to a passenger jet. You'll meet robot drill teams, fuel tanks bigger than backyard pools, and a flexing trick straight out of a Pixar bird. Even if you've ridden this double-decker giant, I promise at least one secret you've never heard. International airports rank airplanes by wingspan. Cross the 80-metre line and you tumble into Code F territory. Special gates, longer taxi clearances, and millions in extra concrete. Boeing 7478 tiptoes under the tape at 68 metres. Early A380 computer models wanted closer to 85. Toulouse engineers had to conjure three pieces of sorcery, and the first two happened before the jet ever leaves the gate. Stroll past an A380 on the ramp, and you'll see each wingtip curl upward and inward, like a hand motioning come closer. That curvature isn't just for style points. It keeps the projected span, the straight line tip-to-tip -tip distance airports measure, at 79.75 meters. In flight, the tips relax outward a hair, but on the ground, the jet stays legal. Back in the factory, technicians jig the wing slightly over straight, so it relaxes into spec once fuel and payload weigh it down. Cool stat drop. Airbus wind tunnel data show those sculpted tips trim around 1 to 2% of cruise drag, worth roughly a few hundred pounds of fuel per hour on very long flights. Outsmart the rulebook and burn less gas? That's an accountant's love song. Now watch that same wing at rotation. The moment the wheels leave concrete, the tips rise, fast. By cruise altitude, they're riding a full 4 meters, 13 feet, above their parking lot position. First-time passengers sometimes gasp. Regulars just smile and order another coffee. Far from a floor, this living wing behavior was the goal. A flexible span lets engineers trim structure. Less metal means less weight. Less weight means less thrust. And the virtuous cycle keeps spinning. How do you let a half billion dollar airfoil do Pilates at 39,000 feet without snapping? Start with aerospace grade 7449 T7651 high strength 7XXX aluminum sheet milled down to just three millimeters in mid-span flex zones. Then brace the high stress route with carbon fiber ribs baked at 120 degrees Celsius in an autoclave the size of a basketball court. The metal handles shear, the composite soaks up torque, and together they ride out turbulence like a seasoned dance duo. Result? Passengers sip their drinks instead of wearing them. That flex only works because of a crazy precise fastening job that I will tell you later in the video. We've seen how the A380's wing dodges airport rulers and then does yoga once it's airborne. Now, let's peel back the metal itself and meet the ingredients. Slice an A380 wing cordwise and you'll see what looks like a single sheet, yet it's really a delicately tapered pastry. The outer skin starts life as 7449 T7651 high strength aluminum zinc plate, an alloy that can cut weight by up to 8% and extend fatigue life by about 30% versus older materials. Five axis mills then carve it in terraced steps. 12 millimeters near the root to swallow engine loads, 
six millimeters around mid-span, and a feather-thin three millimeters eighth-inch fess inside the elastic zones that let the wing breathe. The taper alone saves roughly a thousand pounds per aircraft, weight the airline can spend on passengers, cargo, or just pure range. Boeing flirted with all composite skins for the 7478, but at this size, the optimized aluminum alloy still wins the weight strength cost triangle. And two decades on, not a single operator has had to replace a panel for corrosion. Great skin is useless unless it stays married to its carbon ribs, and Airbus hired a drill team that never blinks. Inside Broughton's Stage Zero cell, 10 Electro Impact E4380 gantries glide on rails, each the length of a subway car, yet accurate to 0.1 millimeters. Picture a house-sized sewing machine. Line up, drill, countersink, vacuum chips, squirt sealant, shoot a titanium lock bolt, friction swage the collar, laser stamp a serial number, slide three inches, repeat about 30,000 times per panel. Over 40 lasers on the ceiling track every move. If a hole wanders two thousandths of an inch off true, the robot pings a human for a tool change. That happened exactly once during ramp up in 2005, when a mislabeled bit overlies a hole. Engineers patched the spot, flashed new code during lunch, and the line hasn't missed a beat since. Let me throw a quick challenge your way. How many total fasteners, rivets and bolts hold a complete pair of A380 wings together? Do you know the answer? Let's drop it in the comments. Precision is pointless if each wing hibernates in a jig for half a year, so Airbus built a pulse line that behaves more like Detroit than old school aerospace. Subassemblies, skins with stringers, spars and root cords, arrive on smart dollies, slide into a four-story cradle, spend five days getting drilled and bolted, then roll forward one station at dawn every Monday. While electricians lace wiring in slot two, hydraulics crews plumb slot three, painters shoot chromate primer up front, and quality techs x-ray joints in slot four, the next naked wing settles into slot one, and the conveyor keeps ticking. At peak rhythm, the factory delivered four complete wing pairs every 30 days, roughly 500 tons of finished structure a month. Put another way, that's enough high-grade aluminum to build three Statue of Liberty shells every four weeks, packed into airfoils that still twist and flex like gull feathers. First, about that challenge from earlier in the video, a finished pair of A380 wings is stitched together by roughly 750,000 fasteners, bolts and rivets enough to build three entire Cessna 172 fuselages out of hardware alone. Every one of them must stay leak tight because the wing is also a floating fuel farm. Each side swallows about 160,000 litres, so both wings together hold 320,000 litres. Picture 11 backyard swimming pools riding under each arm. 12 electric drive boost pumps can empty one wing in roughly 20 minutes, yet most of the time they're busy sliding kerosene fore, aft or sideways to keep the jet's centre of gravity inside a two-metre envelope. The plumbing is titanium, every weld is x-rayed, every valve laser etched. Before the wing ships south, crews perform a wet test. They flood each tank with blue-tinted fuel, pressurise at 25% above normal and crawl through the bays with flashlights. If a single bead seeps out, that panel gets stripped, resealed and retested until it stays bone dry. Fuel ballet is only half the act. Layered on top is a family of 13 moving surfaces per wing, triple slotted flaps, drooped ailerons and eight spoiler panels, all answering to five redundant flight computers sampling data on the order of 100 times per second. On climb out, the inboard ailerons droop five degrees, turning the slab into a gently cambered glider and slicing induced drag. At cruise, they crawl back to neutral while pumps shift fuel rearward. The airplane flies hands off for hours. When turbulence rattles the tips, accelerometers feel the jolt. Within milliseconds, opposite side spoilers pop up while pumps nudge a slosh of fuel outward, damping the roll like a tightrope walker's pole. Passengers sense only a polite wobble, not a coffee cup geyser. That synergy, software, surfaces and mobile ballast, lets a 575-ton behemoth handle with the manners of a much smaller twin aisle. Clever code means nothing if the metal can't cope. So Airbus built a sacrificial wing box, anchored it inside a bright yellow steel gantry, and staged the world's slowest arm wrestle. Hydraulic jacks hauled each tip upward, while ballast cans weighed the route down, simulating a 2.5G pull-up tougher than anything an airline captain would dare. 
Certification rules demanded the structure survive 150% of that load. At 145%, the top spar caps groaned, a crack raced across three ribs, and a gunshot loud bang echoed through the hall. Engineers paused the test, laser scanned the wound, and designed a 30 kilogram doubler plate, roughly a checked suitcase, to stiffen that zone on every production wing. Three months later, the rig reran the gauntlet. This time, the wing shrugged off the full 150% and sailed through. Real world ops have vindicated the fix. In nearly two decades of commercial service, not a single A380 has lost a wing. That near miss at 145% now headlines lecture slides worldwide, proof that strategic flex, not sheer metal, is the smarter way to fly. We've milled the skins, stitched the seams, and tortured the structure to near breaking. Now let's watch this skyscraper-sized boomerang leave Wales, hitch a ride to France, and trace the long shadow it still casts on Airbus design. A single finished A380 wing is almost 150 feet long, 44 feet wide, and tips the scales at about 31 tonnes in bare structure, or roughly 36 tonnes once wiring, plumbing, and systems are installed. Too hefty for any cargo jet and too awkward for a highway flatbed. Airbus's answer? A four-leg relay worthy of Mission Impossible. Road Dolly Crawl. From the Broughton flow line, each wing rolls out at three miles per hour behind a pair of spotters armed with yardsticks and broom handles. Clearance under the factory door lintel, barely eight inches. River D Barge. At Moston Dock, the wing slides onto a custom pontoon with air cushion pads. Tug crews wait for a spring tide high enough to clear a 19th century railway bridge, one chance every two weeks. Row Row Ship Hop. The pontoon locks into the Ville de Bordeaux, an Airbus owned roll on roll off freighter whose deck was cut, stretched, and replated just for A380 components. Crossing the channel takes 18 hours. French Canal Dash and Night Convoy. From Poyac, the wings sneak onto oversized trailers only after midnight. The 240-mile itinerary a grand gabarit zigzags around 15 hairpin turns, five temporarily widened roundabouts, and four bridges rebuilt with removable guardrails. Locals set alarms. TikTok lights up with clips of a wing sliding past village bakeries at 2 a.m. Arriving at Toulouse, each convoy passes under a banner joking, your wings have arrived, please attach before flight. Lead time from factory door to final assembly jig, typically about seven days, weather cooperate. Miss a tide window and the entire schedule slips two weeks. A logistical Jenga that taught Airbus more about choreography than welding. The Super Jumbo has closed its order book, but its wings are still earning royalties inside newer Airbuses. A350 morphing trailing edge. Algorithms learned from A380 flex mapping now drive electrically actuated flaps that tweak camber a few millimeters every minute saving up to 1.5% fuel on long hauls. A321 XLR rear center tank. Engineers borrowed the A380's fueler's ballast philosophy to stuff 13,100 liters into a wet bay without upsetting pitch balance. Pumps, sensors, and leak test routines are copy-pasted, just scaled down. Wing of Tomorrow project. Carbon spars cured in giant out-of-autoclave ovens trace their lineage to the A380's composite ribs and root fittings. Goal? Trim another 10% weight on the narrow body that replaces today's A320. Even Boeing tips a hat. The 777X's folding wingtips mirror the A380's ground span compromise. Proof that the rival learned from Toulouse's paperwork hack. So, did Airbus outsmart everyone with the A380's wings? They beat airport geometry with curved tips, balanced a half million pound jet on flex zones thinner than a credit card, stitched it together with three quarters of a million fasteners, and shipped the result down rivers and through cornfields like Carnival Cargo. All to reinvent how big an airplane could be without building a new world of airports. The A380 may have bowed off the production line in 2021, but every time an A350 ghost adjusts its flap, or an A321XLR sips fuel from a belly tank, that wing's DNA whispers, told you size wasn't everything, smarts are. Which part of the video impressed you the most? The midnight road trip, the self-balancing fuel ballet, or the static test near miss at 145% load? 
Drop your pick and any road convoy stories in the comments. If you want more engineering deep dives lit up with giant numbers and human drama, tap subscribe and buckle in. The next ride is already taxiing.